I'm glad this player is being mentioned. RJ, love RJ, saying, hey guys, keen to hear your thoughts on Palmer's performance and what you think he excelled at versus what you also would like to see more of him, more from him. Go ahead. Uh, Palmer, yeah, it's interesting because I thought we had a good game. I thought we did have a good game. I saw like a comp go around on Twitter that got suspended, but he did so well within this like 30 minutes. I think he's that like franchise player that some of the rivals like to watch. He's a, he's a beautiful player to watch comes into the half spaces. He created some good chances today. His pressing was excellent for Broja's goal. I, I would just say overall, I don't mean this is like a bad thing. I just didn't think he was as involved as I'd usually want him to be uh, today. And I honestly don't mean that's a bad thing because he was still involved and he literally had no right back to help to, to move with him. Uh, so I thought it was a very good game. I just almost have such high expectations from these first couple of games that seeing some of these passes that he's making, seeing some of these like drop deeps and like, to the nous of his game. I'm almost more used to it now. Um, so yeah, a very, very good game. I was happy with it. But I'd also see like why he's so good in the 10. I feel like he picks up a bit more dangerous positions. But I don't I feel like I shouldn't judge it too much because he really just had no one to link up with today. Like if you put Gusto or even Reese on that right hand side, it opens up so many more avenues for him and so much more danger for the opposition when they have someone coming up down the right hand side then then Palmer can even make that pass or it will just open up a switch to the other side and behind which we know he makes almost every time so very good performance but I feel like there's more to come and maybe wasn't as involved as he has been last game really yeah um I think he's excellent I think he's just so good I mean I was I, I said it at one point during the stream I think I tweeted it actually just seemed like he was a level above like our attackers. And I didn't mean that as an insult to Broya or Mudrik or Gallagher getting involved. I, I just felt like despite Cole Palmer, not having a Premier League goal to his name, obviously not having an extensive resume anyway. Mm. I just felt like this guy's a level above. And once again, that wasn't a slight to the others. It was a compliment to him. There's yeah. a confidence he has. That is awesome. Like, awesome you know the assertiveness the nous like you said great word for him oh he's really good i mean he's really yeah. his way to pass is fantastic but i mean that in like all varieties putting a ball into space in the box for a striker like a broya or there was even another player that ran into the box i forget who it was that it was so perfectly weighted but also the cross that he had that he put on a plate for Armando. I mean, on a plate, mm. like he can make all the passes. And I just love how invested he is in the game. Like he also will put in some work defensively. He's coming to pick up the ball in the middle of the pitch, you know, just when he feels like, all right, I'd like to try and make something happen from a different angle. So RJ to cheaply answer your question. One thing I'd like to see more from him, more of that, that last thing, like, he doesn't need help with it because he's a supremely confident kid. And, and I'm not saying that he's Eden Azar. Someone likened him to Jack Grealish, which didn't make sense to me at first because Grealish is much more of like a, I'm a dribbler, I'm going to get fouled, especially at Villa, right? Like he was much more of a, you're going to yeah. foul me 10 times a game. That's just how it's going to go. He was almost closer to Eden Azar. Not that he was, but I think people know what I'm saying. But I actually kind of understand like a slight Grealish shout because I think when Grealish goes well, he can't fully do it in the city team, but he's picking up the ball in all different areas of the pitch. And he's just trying to, you know, create for his team. Once again, this is more Grealish yeah. at Villa. Palmer, like, I, 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 get, I don't know what Potch is saying to you. Probably only good things because you look really good so far. But Alex Goldberg gives you that permission. Like, if you want to act like our Eden, like our Grealish, like, I, I know it sounds crazy, like our Messi go for it man because although of course you have to you know keep improving and you got to get your first Premier League goal and you got plenty of things to accomplish I think you absolutely have the talent and ability to make this kind of your role in the team where you are kind of the assertive one especially when things get stagnant right uh to yeah. pick up the ball wherever you want and look for the pass because you can make it you can make it and the goal is going to come the goal is going to come he's got a good shot on him and like I said, he's very confident. So, you know, I, 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 Felix, I think he's a must-start player for us. I really do. Yeah. No, no, no. He, he is. And I think the goals, like, I, that's the thing I want him to add. But, like, let's not pretend there's something that's, that's missing. He started two games. Like, this whole Twitter, 
Oh yeah, it's not a boot trick thing. No, no, it's not a drought exactly. or anything. No. But like genuinely, people will think that just like, oh, he hasn't scored yet. But like, if you do, if you are on Twitter, you'd just be like, oh, it's a guy betting in and doing really well, and oh, and then yeah. in two games he would have scored a goal, and you'd be like, oh, sick. And also, like, I'm I don't remember it completely, but like that goal he scored for England under twenty ones, for example, he obviously has that finesse to the top right that he scores yeah. all the time but he also arrives in the box really well and that was his goal for the under 21s and when you mudrick has shown an ability to especially get in the corridor of uncertainty he makes a lot of good passes there but he's not essentially like the most like he's not going to do that pass that palmer does for example he's not always going to get to the edge of the box and currently we don't have a left back either so he's kind of it's not it's, his burden is mostly been to be creative and that's completely fine and i also think something we'll see more of and we saw it today, and we've still seen it overall, is he drops deep and has that pause, has that now, so if we said, get it in behind, make those passes. But he's also ridiculously good 1v1. And we saw it for one second today. Uh, he was like, he was just isolated with the left back, and he literally just pretended to go one way, went the other. It was so simple. Some people probably have mostly have forgotten it. it was I just remember such a good that. Move. Yep, it was, yeah. it was it kind of in the corner, kind of. Uh, it was against Anthony Robinson, friend of the show, yeah. who, who's quite yeah. athletic. And yeah, it looked very easy for Palmer. And he doesn't do, do it in a Doku, like Jeremy Doku lightning style. No, but that's what I was going to say. Like, he's not really fast. Like, he is, but he's not really rapid at all. He, he's, he's, just, he's just clever. He's sneaky, he's sneaky fast, but it's also like deception, you know? It, it, it's just, mm. it's, it's smooth from him too, you know? Like, he, I don't think he wastes body movements. Whatever he does, like, it, it, it's with purpose, it's with efficiency. So, yeah, he... he you know, for, for basketball fans out there, this might not mean a lot to Felix. I don't know if, how much he follows, but like now the extreme example is Luka Doncic, who I think most will know, who plays for the Mavericks. Do you know Doncic? Oh, yeah. Not that, okay. Yeah. Um, Doncic is not a great athlete. And I'm not saying Palmer's not a great athlete, by the way. But Doncic is nothing special, like athletically. Yet he can drop 50 points a game whenever the hell he wants. He can get to wherever he wants in the court. He's just very clever about where he goes. And like I said about Palmer, he doesn't waste body movements. Wherever he goes, like there's a purpose with where he goes. I grew up in Boston. There was someone named Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce was a supreme scorer, but he was not an athlete like Kobe or Michael Jordan. He just was once again, like very clever and very crafty about how he got from point A to point B. Palmer is so clever, crafty, smooth um, in his movements. And yeah, he's just very under control. Everything about him is under control. So, yeah, cold world. Uh, and, and honestly, it's a game where if Caicedo doesn't have his performance, if Caldwell doesn't have his performance, I know Gallagher won it, and I'm not, like, arguing against it. And, and others, I mean, Silva, you know, there's, there's so many we could shout out. I was perfectly fine with giving it to Cole, you know? Like, I was perfectly yeah. – he came off early, you know? Uh, but I was perfectly happy. He didn't get the assist because it came off Tim Ream. But, you know, in, in many ways, I thought once again, like, huge reason why we won tonight, Cole Palmer. No doubt about it.